this video tutorial, we will see how to connect to a My, MySQL server which is installed locally on my system. In my case, that uh, for this demo, the MySQL 8.0 is installed on a Windows system and we wanted to access it uh, using the root user, uh, uh, using two methods. One of the method is through the command prompt and, th and the other way is through the, uh, uh, through, uh, the tool which is MySQL Workbench. So um, I have opened the MySQL uh, services. So I have uh, opened services.msc. I have located the MySQL service. In my case, the service name is MySQL 8.0. I'll just click the, uh, on MySQL 8.0 and uh, that is the service. I'll go to properties and path to execute. But I just wanted to locate the location of uh, the binary. So it is in it is there, and you can see the service status is running. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to command prompt and allocate the binary. Although this is not the best way to uh, to go and check the location, you can put this uh, uh, bin location in your path so that every time you don't have to uh, to find it again and again. So there is a separate uh, video on that. You can check that as well. So uh, I know the MySQL user uh, password that is uh, the root password. So I'll say MySQL hyphen U root hyphen P. And uh, I'll feed in the password. You can say I, I, I'm uh, able to log into the MySQL instance using the command from which is which is very easy. The other way which is very, very convenient is using the uh, MySQL workbench. So this is the uh, MySQL workbench. So there are some uh, earlier sessions which I'm trying to close. And let me delete uh, the connections which are available. So I'll, I'll just go to MySQL connections. You can see there is a plus sign. So you just have to click that and it will uh, pop up a window like this. So I'll just see the connection name is localhost root connection. And host name is uh, this is localhost uh, port name is this one user is root and just say test connection and the password I have to feed in. Just say OK you can see successfully made the MySQL connection. Just say OK and OK. You can see this is saved over here. Just click this and you will be able to open the uh, session. So, so we are good with this. Let me close it out and uh, we'll try to create a, a new user and we will try to log in uh, with the new user uh, locally using the command prompt then from the, uh, the, uh, the workbench. So let me create a user. So the user which we are going to create is MySQL at localhost identified by password I have given. I have given some of the grants which are required for that particular user to take backup of all the databases which are hosted on that particular server. So I'm just executing it as a whole because this has been discussed earlier in uh, other videos as well. So let me create everything uh, using the uh, root user as that is having the privilege. So you can see uh, after execution, you can see uh, I have executed select host comma user from mysql.user. So the user is created on localhost and the username is mysql backup. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to log in through this uh, by two ways. One of the way is through the command prompt and other way is through the uh, workbench. MySQL hyphen U username is MySQL backup hyphen P password and just feed in the password. You can see we are able to log in. We are on the MySQL prompt. And in another, another way, what we are going to do is we are going to uh, log in using the uh, 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 MySQL workbench. So I'm here MySQL connection. Uh, you can see there is a plus sign. Just click this and a window is popped up. You need to give the details. So what I'm saying localhost 
and the username the username which I'm trying to um, make a connection is MySQL backup so this is the way you can identify like which user and which host you are trying to log in host name is uh, the local host so IP is al already fast up port is 3306 the username is MySQL backup just test the connection it will prompt for the password feed in the password and that's it you can save it in the vault it has made a successful connection just say OK and OK so this is localhost underscore MySQL backup which you created and uh, there is a GUI prompt opened and uh, you can do whatever you want it to do we are not uh, doing anything as of now but in another tutorial we will be seeing what all can be done using the uh, the convenient way of GUI mode I hope this is going to help thanks and thanks for watching.